Hey guys, this is Shiva. Welcome back to our real-time interview question series on Kubernetes. Today we'll be discussing about the next question and here it is. So the question comes up like, do you use the same namespaces for all the Kubernetes projects? At the same time, how do you manage your Kubernetes strategy? I mean, the namespace strategy basically. So read the question twice. The, the, the focus is majorly all about the namespace topic, okay? So the question comes up like, do you use the same namespace for all your Kubernetes projects? At the same time, how do you manage your Kubernetes strategy, especially the namespace part, okay? So wh why, what's the need of this question? Why? Because once you step into a real-time project, first you'll be having multiple clusters. Okay, let me bring back my one note, okay? As the regular process, let's discuss about the question first and the answer I'll be writing in the lastly so that you'll be having the clear understanding, right? So the flow comes up like, once you step into any other real-time project, you will be having multiple clusters. It's not like a single cluster, right? You will be having multiple clusters, obviously. That might be your dev cluster, your test cluster, your stage cluster, as well as a production cluster, okay? Now, as a DevOps engineer, we will be working on multiple projects. What is it? Multiple projects. And these are multiple clusters. So the question here is focusing about, do you really deploy all your projects in the same namespace? The answer is no, never. Why? Because we never deploy all of our projects in the same namespace. Let's assume we are working for a bank called as Bank of Anthos. Okay, and this application might be having multiple microservices. Let's say cart is micros, uh, one of the uh, microservice or account is one of the microservice or transactions might be one of the microservice. All these microservices, what we generally do is we create a namespace called as bank hyphen dev. And we try to keep all these microservices in the same namespace. The similar way, we'll be having another namespace called as bank hyphen test and we'll be having all the microservices over here. Why? Because we want to differentiate each environment based upon a particular namespace so that the underlying resources can be shared. At the same time, we don't want all our developers to be accessing the same namespace. Obviously, we don't want them to access the same namespace, right? Because uh, as a developer, I should be able to access my applications only. And let's assume there is one more namespace called as boutique namespace. And I don't want my developers who are majorly focusing on the banking dev namespace to be able to access the applications in the boutique one. So we will be generally be uh, segregating the namespaces and all the projects will not be kept under the same namespace due to multiple factors, right? So let me write down the answer for you. And the answer comes up like, and before that, uh, I think you have already knew about this form, right? If you have any specific questions which you have got in interviews or uh, you're facing any challenges in answering those particular questions you can mention them here and i will be keeping the uh, segregating the questions and i'll be keeping them in the to-do list okay and the question is done something like this yeah let me write down the seventh question and this is the question seven okay and um what is the question now um one second, let me copy this one. Yeah, perfect. Scenario. Do you use the same namespace for all your projects? How do you manage your Kubernetes namespace strategy? Okay, right. Let me write down the answers quickly. These answers are not only confined to these points, you can have multiple pointers as well, but I want to highlight the points which gives a good impression for you when you tell in any interviews, okay? So you can you can start the like, uh, in the projects, I'm working on all the applications are being segregated based on the namespace or you can tell them in this in other way as well in the project i'm working on all the applications are being differentiated based on the namespace okay 
we have multiple clusters for clusters for dev test stage and production okay and each application has a different namespace in different clusters that's what we have discussed till now and each application has a different namespace in different cluster as i mentioned here you might be having different clusters and different clusters we will be having different namespaces accordingly and based upon that we will be deploying the applications okay now namespaces perfect but for few projects we have both the dev and test in the same cluster understand this point for few projects we will be having both the dev and test in the same cluster but in different namespaces it's not like every time we'll be having projects or namespaces separately in different different clusters in some projects we might still be having a single cluster but that cluster might be having a different namespaces as well but in different namespaces okay we follow uh, this approach to separate resources computing capacity both memory and cpu differently for different namespaces okay if there is any typo i will be fixing it after the recording okay and what do you do with generating the namespace we'll be having multiple uh, pvcs multiple net poles or multiple uh, ingress controls and all so for that reason we'll be having different different namespaces as well okay um along with that we don't want all our developers to access each and every application why because i might be having multiple teams and i don't want each team member to be accessing the application of a different team member right so for that reason so for our back implementation perspective as well so we have different namespaces because we don't want our devs to access other other application namespaces so that we have been creating something in our back okay uh, and each namespace will be having different net poles network policies pvcs ingress controllers and config maps and secrets as well so we have different namespaces so that we have a different implementation flow okay so i hope this question gives a clear understanding and it's not like you should be only telling these pointers guys it's the the main intention of writing down all the pointers is that these are the major highlight pointers and once before you go to any interview if you go through this document okay it will be really helpful for you to get into any other question right so i think this question helps you a lot in getting into any interview and before the before we stop basically if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe and i'm available at instagram as well at itons and academy do follow my page and uh, see you in the next video till then happy learning bye